you are welcome to today's video lesson with bright edu in today's lesson i'll be solving this practice question written on the board and this question was asked by one of my subscribers so i told the person that i'll be solving this practice question with a video lesson now here is the lesson now in the look of things you can see that this question is from the topic solubility now solubility is a concentration unit and solubility can be expressed in various forms solubility can be expressed in moles per dm cube as stated by this question for us to solve which i'll be explaining and also solubility can be expressed in grams per dm cube and also solubility can be expressed in grams per 100 grams of water so moving further you can see that this question is on calculating solubility in moles per dm cube so the question that you ask yourself what formula should i apply when solving questions of the such now this must be noted for you to be able to solve questions on solubility in moles per dm cube this formula i'm about to write now is very very important which is solubility in moles per dm cube as stated by the question is equal to mass times a thousand over molar mass times volume so this formula must be applied so with all this said let's read out the question and the question says 16.55 grams of lead 2 trioxo nitrate 5 was dissolved in 100 grams of distilled water at 20 degrees celsius calculate the solubility of the compound in moles per dm cube so how do we solve this question first we have to bring out the compound you can see here that the compound was written in words they did not give us the chemical formula of the compound so just solving it like this is going to it's not going to be easy because they did not give us the chemical formula of the compound but before we solve this practice question i'm going to bring out a and tell you how you can get the chemical formula of this compound before you solve because if you don't know the chemical formula solving this question is not going to be possible and when you solve you might not get the correct answer because the chemical formula of the compound was not correct so here i'll be solving i'll be bringing out the chemical formula of those compound which is lead 2 trioxo nitrate 5 so let's do that together so the compound as stated by the question is lead 2 trioxo nitrate 5 which is this so next step to take to to get the chemical formula of the compound because we need it to get our molar mass so we can get the solubility in moles per dm cube now you can see here first i can see lead now what's the symbol for lead lead is an element lead to be precise is a metal and in the look of things metals are positively charged and this lead is what lead two that is why here will be pb2 plus lead two what we are trying to do here for us to get the chemical formula of this compound so moving further i'm dividing this compound into two parts the lead two part and the trial also nitrate five parts so moving further this trioxo nitrate 5 is a radical and it is expressed as no3 minus 1 this is something you must take note of so moving further how do we get the chemical formula of this compound we get it by exchanging our charges so the one for the nitrate radical for the no3 uh, minus 1 radical will come to the place for lead well the two for lead we come here so with this what are we having pb the one for no3 will come to lead so we are having pb1 and the two for pb the two for pb will now come to the no3 so we have in pb1 no3 so the two will come here 
So in the look of things, can I leave this compound this way? No, I have to separate with a bracket so as to be able to understand perfectly how this concept works. So the point here is this, this compound that was written in words, this is the chemical formula of the compound, which is PB, PB1, open bracket, NO3, close bracket, 2. So the point here is this, when you see, because questions like this, this particular question is a jam past question. So you might see it again in your exam, uh, in your exam. So you have to take note of this question specifically and take note of the chemical formula of this compound, which is lead 2 trioxo nitrate 5. It is same everywhere. So we can actually express this compound in another form in the sense that I will remove the one because one is negligible. It can be written as just PB and O3 open bracket close bracket 2. Okay, we can actually remove the one because the one is negligible. Okay, so moving further, I'm going to write out this compound in a very simple way so it can be much, so much understandable because we'll be using to calculate our molar mass as we progress. So this PB, open bracket, NO3, close bracket 2 can be written in another form in the sense that the 2 I am having, is this 2 affecting lead? No. The 2 is just affecting what is inside the bracket. So in the look of things, what are we having here? Just PB. Now, this 2, when it times N first, we we'll have N2. And also, this same 2, when it times oxygen, oxygen is 3. So 2 times 3, what's that? 6. So we are having here to be O6. So this compound written this way is same as this. Because the reason I'm doing this so that it can be easy for us to be able to calculate the molar mass so easily as we progress. So, moving further, this is the formula to be applied. Okay? And let's calculate our molar mass together. So, how do we get the molar mass of the compound? The molar mass of the compound will now be equal to, what's the atomic mass of lead? It was given in the question, it is 207 plus, what's the atomic mass of nitrogen? 14 times 2 Plus, what's the atomic mass of oxygen? 16 times 6. So, when we hit all this, we are having 331 grams of But let's just be sure. So, 207 plus 14 times 2 plus 16 times 6. That's 331. Okay? 331 grams per mole is the molar mass of the compound. Because for you to identify molar mass, the SI unit will be grams per mole. So, moving further, for we to apply this formula, we have to bring out the parameters as stated by the question. So, first of all, the parameters. What's the mass given the question? The mass is 16.55 grams. And moving further, have we gotten the molar mass of the compound? Yes, we have. It is 331 grams per mole. So, moving further, the other parameter for us to get is volume, okay? It is what? Volume. When we give you volume in the question, no. They did not give us volume. So, this is that tax for us to get. So, first of all, what was the solvent? The solvent is liquid, is water to be precise. And now, we have to calculate the volume of water as the mass is given. Now, this must be noted. Okay, for we to get our volume, because this is what we want to get now before we now solve our solubility. So, for we to get our volume, remember... Uh, remember, water has density, okay? So, what's the density of water, which is H2, although it was not given in the question. They are supposed to give us in the question so that we can be able to solve. But at the end of solving, I'm going to just explain something very important. So, what's the density of water? It is 1 grams per cm cube. So, moving further, this must be noted. What was the mass? of water as stated by the question what was it 100 grams so now what's the formula for solving density density is mass over volume and now how do we get our volume because now because we are trying to get volume we have to use the density formula which is mass over volume so making volume subject what do you think we have when we make volume subject it becomes it becomes mass okay Mass times 1 divided by density. So you can see how it works. What was the mass given for water? What was the value? It is 100 grams. 
And what was the density for what I stated initially? One grams per cm cube. Gram cancel grams. So 100 over 1, what's that? It is 100. And what is the unit remaining? Cm cube. So you can see how it works. So in the look of things, what becomes the volume of water as stated by the question now? 100 cm cube. So the point here is this. Most at times, the solvent is water that will dissolve the solute, which is the compound. So it must be noted here that if this value, you can see here that the mass of water, of distilled water to be precise, was 100 gram. So definitely the volume is supposed to be 100 cm cube because of the density for water is what one do you get this must be noted so for instance here was 500 grams what becomes the volume 500 cm cube okay because of that one as its density so moving further you can see we've gotten all our parameters so let's solve the solubility so solubility in moles per dm cube will not be equal to let's apply a formula what's the mass in the question as stated was it 16 okay 16.55 grams now this mass that you are seeing here is the mass of the compound do you get but in other other case of question they will just give you this straight they will just call it cm cube but now they they called it gram do you get so if you have called this cm cube will not follow these steps so my point here is this whenever you see distilled water and you see any value here just change the the gram to cm cube and solve no need to do this because it is water density of water is one gram per cm cube so this is something you must take note of so times a thousand now the reason why i'm timesing by one thousand is because the volume was in cm cube okay most times you have to pull so if in a particular question, they did not put gram. They just gave us the volume. And the volume was expressed in dm cube. You remove 1,000. Do you get? But if the volume was expressed in cm cube, you add 1,000. But if they give you in this pattern and they write anything here, if it's 500, if it's, if it's 1,000, if it's 200 grams, just know it's approximately what? 200 cm cube because of that density of the distilled water to be one grams per cm cube so moving further what's the molar mass of 81 grams per mole times what's the volume as given now as calculated was it 100 cm cube so what do you think we get as our solubility in mole per dm cube of the compound let's solve together so let's impute 16.55 times 1000 divided by 331 times 100 that is 0 0.5 so i have 0 0.5 moles per dm cube so looking at our option what becomes the answer option d so this is the answer to the question 0 0.5 moles per dm cube so you can see here that we had 0 0.5 moles per dm cube and this is the option option d 0 0.5 moles per dm cube so you can see how questions like this are being tackled though i have a full video lesson that explains every single concept of solubility solubility in moles per dm cube solubility in grams per dm cube solubility in grams per 100 grams of water so you do where to go check that video lesson so as to understand properly how this concept works so moving further if you haven't subscribed yet to this channel and you're just joining this community do well to click the subscribe button to this channel and also share these lessons with your friends thanks for watching